If you're studying OCHEM, you have to understand S and P orbitals. Here's Cooper with the breakdown. When looking at how electrons actually move around the nucleus, they reside in what are called atomic orbitals, which are defined as a region of space where electrons can be found. The main atomic orbitals we're concerned about are S and P orbitals. S orbitals we can think of as a tiny sphere that surrounds the nucleus, while P orbitals look like dumbbells. We'll mainly focus on the atomic orbitals of the valence electrons, which mainly consists of an s orbital and three degenerate, which means same in energy, p orbitals. The reason we have three p orbitals is because there's one in the y axis, one in the x axis, and one in the z axis. Looking at these orbitals, there's a reason we place s orbitals lower than the p ones, and that's because electrons in p orbitals are higher in energy than those in s orbitals. Also, when using a diagram like this, don't forget that these half arrows are electrons. That's your quick intro to orbitals. You'll find full lessons and reviews on community.com.